This is the ACC Digital Network as Georgia Tech takes an 86-80 win over Florida State. An exciting game. Georgia Tech led just about every inch of the way. Corey Alexander, a great game for Marcus George's hunt uh, for Georgia Tech. He took control and kept control most of the game. He really did, and he was the guy that Brian Gregory talked about. He needed to have a big performance for them, especially on the road, and he did just that. Knocking down the three-pointers off of offensive rebounds, and he shot the ball extremely well. But really, it was his presence at the free throw line that allowed them to be so successful. And the way he attacks the basket, he gets there often. But 12 for 16 from the free throw line was Marcus George's hunt on the night. And big free throws at the end of the game really were the ones that sealed the game for, the Georgia, for Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech shot very well, about 53% for the entire game. But, of course, there was a time in the second half, Florida State pressing all over the court, and they almost made it all the way back. And Florida State actually scored 21 points off of Georgia Tech's 14 turnovers. So if that was the difference in the game for Florida State. They had a struggle scoring against the set, the half-court offense, but when they got to the sense of urgency at the end of the game, Dwayne Bacon was able to find his way to the rim and continued to be aggressive. However, James White's block at the end of the game denied the comeback attempt for the Seminoles. Marcus George's hunt leads the way with 27. Adam Smith adds 25 for Georgia Tech, and Georgia Tech picks up the six-point win. This is the ACC Digital Network. We are the official home for ACC basketball. For more great content like you've just watched, click one of these boxes. And to make sure you don't miss anything, click subscribe.